on show for the first time. The bronze statue that symbolizes a Gurkha on a First World War battlefield carrying a soldier to safety. Now this piece depicts the first Gurkha recipient of the Victoria Cross, Kulbir Thapa, rescuing his comrade, a British Tommy, from the Leicestershire Regiment in 1915. It was actually the 25th of September 1915. And he also rescued two of his other Gurkha comrades on the same day, whilst also carrying his own injury. It's hoped the statue will remember for generations to come the contribution made by Gurkhas to the British Army over more than 200 years. It is yeah. very important to be the, uh, the statue for the old shot and uh, all around the world because we don't have the Gurkha bases or any bases statue I haven't seen at all. So it is very, very good to be uh, with the uh, Gurkha statue in the old shot. The statue was the idea of the local community, supported by Rushmore Borough Council. £180,000 to pay for it was raised, and it now has a prime spot in the town centre. It is a huge significance for all the search for this statue to, be, statue to be here, because it is, from here on, it's a symbol of co community cohesion in all the search, uh, and how the community are actually living together. Uh, 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 very friendly uh, uh, in the environment and it is a it, it is a great day uh, for Aldershot and the residents of Aldershot. 15% of people in Aldershot and Farnborough are from the Nepalese community. That's because for many years the Gurkhas were locally based and many have decided to stay. Three members of the community have now been elected to the local council. This will be here for forever and uh, even we go there will be somebody but they can see the history and uh, this is here for forever and uh, you, you can't forget this moment and you know this will um, let the future generation know that what is the relation between Nepal and Britain, what the Nepali people did for you know Britain and why they are here, it is the proof of that you know um, the Nepali war has. The statue was built by a sculptor from Andover. It's a sculptor that's a challenge and uh, hopefully you know I've done it justice. And the statue will be officially unveiled on Saturday. Mike Pierce, ITV News, Aldershot. Yeah, that's from Andover.